So I just filmed this really light, nice tutorial for back to school. Um, yeah, sorry there hasn't been a video the past, like, kind of week or so. It's because I was sick with strep, not too fun, and then I've just been kind of busy with a bunch of stuff since back to school really soon, so sorry about that little gap in video. Yeah, so hopefully this is a nice, fun tutorial. Get to see how to do this to your face. Let's get right in. So first, you want to apply some primer to your face. This is Prime Time by Bare Minerals, and what primer does is keep your makeup from totally just falling off. Then I'm applying the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick, and I really love this foundation. It is super blendable, it is just great, and I love it. And what also is great about this is it also doubles up as a concealer. With this, I don't apply concealer anymore just because it has such great coverage that I really don't need it, and at, since it's a stick, it works really well as concealer. So now I'm just going to blend, blend, blend away because... You have to blend or your makeup just isn't, you know, it's not there. So I'm also beginning using a foundation brush just to smooth everything out. So now I'm going to be applying some primer to your eyelids. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyelid Primer. And what primer does is make sure your eyeshadow stays on. So next I'm applying a kind of sheer peachy color. This is the Maybelline uh, uh, Color Tattoo Pigment in Barely Brazen. And if you're going to use a pigment, you have to be careful of fallout, but you can clean that up later. If it does happen, it happens to the best of us. Next I'm using my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and just applying a kind of br medium brown color into the middle of my eye and blending it out towards the end. Then I'm taking a darker brown and blending that out towards my crease. Then I'm taking a mascara, this is the Falsies Flared, and this mascara just makes your eyelashes look like wings, like the bottle. It's great. And then you don't want to forget your bottom lashes. And touch it. Then I'm using my Bermel Stay Matte Press Powder. This way my face does not look oily and a mess, so I really love this press powder, it's great. Then I'm going to be using my Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzer and use it so my face looks like it's had some sunlight. Then I'm going to use some e.l.f. blush and this is just a really pretty hot pink color that I love and putting it onto the apples of my cheek and just blending away. And then what's really cool about this pigment that I used earlier is I'm doubling it up as a highlight. So it works really well and gives some pretty shine to your face without making you look, you know, like a disco ball. Then I'm going to be applying my Benefit Sugar Bomb Lip Gloss. And this stuff is just so pretty and it's very, kind of a light color. It's not too poppy. So it looks very nice and neutral for the first day of school. And now you're done. Woohoo. And you have perfect makeup. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think it's really light and fun for back to school. It's something that's like not too heavy. It's not gonna really take too long, but it is something for me that I like to wear on a daily basis. It's very light makeup, but it still looks really pretty and fresh and nice and put together. So yeah, make sure to leave any video requests for back to school since I know some people have already started now. Um, I start the 3rd of September. But yeah, so make sure to tell me if you like this tutorial. Um, if you did this tutorial, leave it as a tweet to me at Glittering Haley. You can, yeah, just tweet it at Glittering Haley. I'll see it. I'll probably retweet it or something. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.